here we are. I have an amazing uh, testimony concerning the baptism of the Holy Spirit. As you all are aware, I started a mentorship despite of everything I have gone through. Um, I am finally starting to see when I say a true transformation in um, the people that are actually called to me. And so one of them have been with me and stuck by me for a very long time throughout every single thing that has happened. And um, I have been training her for a while now. And um, she's called to cast out demons. She's a prophetess. She's a bunch of things. Uh, I won't get into all of that. <laughs> but I will say that God wanted me to do an impartation um, concerning the baptism of the Holy Spirit so that she... Um, we'll be able to cast out demons because a lot of people like religious people they love to say oh we all supposed to be casting out demons none of them casting out demons though that's another story for another day now i'm going to get into what happened so saturday um god told me to do an impartation with her sunday she cast out a demon of lust and pride out of two of my mentees so she's going to give her account of what happened. Uh, Apostle started to decree that I would have tongues of fire and that I would have a new tongue. I felt my tongue get extremely hot. Um, then spiritually, I saw my tongue be removed and a new one be put into my mouth. I think she forgot to mention that I had quoted Acts chapter 2 verses 1 through 4. Um, it's as if her tongue, well, no, her tongue was removed. She was given tongues of fire. There's a different level of tongues that requires the casting out of legions of demons. All right. And so for the ones that say I'm disqualified, for the ones that say women aren't called to preach. Wow. What heresy. What heresy you spread. What foolishness. I digress. Um, let's continue. This new tongue was extremely bright. She sees very vivid visions, um, so much so that my entire head lit up. In the natural, I got chills, but only in my head, I felt power going directly into my body from Apostle. I can feel power leaving my body as I pray for her. The very next day, um, God had me to do my first deliverance. I targeted the spirit of lust as I began to pray over the minty oil. God instructed me to have her to anoint her eyelids and crown of her um, head. That's what she was trying to say. She had to anoint herself. She immediately began to cry. I went to war against the spirit and she casted it out. Um, I saw myself pull out my sword and snatched this demon out of her and stabbed through his chest. Apostle told me the deliverance was done. Um, and so it, it less, all of this happened in less than five minutes. Um, the way that I feel uh, is just specifically about her in general. Um, it's like a proud mom's moment because she is truly growing into who God has called her to be. She used to have a lot of anxiety, a lot of fear about even casting out demons. And to see her do this in two different mentees yesterday, I'm just like, okay, God, you know, what's next? And so this is my plan. Um, I don't want to just mentor people. I want to train people so that they can do so they can move into their purpose and so um she did cast out a spirit of pride out of one of my mentees but i truly wanted to just post uh this testimony in particular um because it is so powerful to see god move 